This video tutorial deals with the spectroscopy experiment and specifically we're going to look at problem number three in your study guide for that experiment. And remember the printed solution is given in appendix two of your lab manual. Now this problem closely parallels the part of the procedure in this experiment where we need to prepare a series of standard solutions, in this case standard solutions of potassium permanganate. And in this problem one of those solutions is being prepared. The problem tells us that we start with a standard solution of 0 0.02102 mole per litre potassium permanganate and 5 millilitres of that solution are diluted to a total volume of 100 millilitres. And then there's a further dilution made to produce a third solution and we're asked what the concentration of this third solution is. So it would help if we look first of all at the apparatus that we use to do this. And looking at the problem again, we begin with the standard solution of potassium permanganate, which is 0 0.02102 moles per litre of potassium permanganate. And 5.00 millilitres of this is diluted to a total volume of 100.00 millilitres. Now, the precision of these numbers, these uh, volume measurements, tell us that we're using high precision glassware. So the 5.00 millilitres of the standard solution of potassium permanganate are pipetted into a 100 mil volumetric flask and diluted to the mark with water so that we're sure the total volume of this next solution is precisely 100.00 millilitres. Then the problem tells us that this solution, the second solution, is added to a burette and from the burette we deliver to a second volumetric flask, again a 100 millilitre volumetric flask, we deliver 14.15 millilitres of this solution to that flask. And this is, again, diluted to the mark with water so that we're sure that the total volume of solution is now precisely 100.00 millilitres. And then the problem is asking us, what is the concentration of this solution here in units of moles of manganese per litre. Now it's actually going to be easier for us to first of all calculate the concentration of this solution in moles of potassium permanganate per litre and then convert it to moles of manganese per litre. You'll see why shortly. So what we're actually dealing with in this part of the lab is three solutions. The solution that we begin with that we'll call solution A, that's the initial standard solution of potassium permanganate, and five mils of that are diluted to 100 mils to produce this second solution, which we'll call solution B. And of course, solution B is added to the burette, so the burette contains solution B and 14.15 millilitres of solution B are delivered from the burette into this next volumetric flask to produce this third solution that we'll call solution C. So the question is asking us what is the concentration of solution C in units of moles of manganese per litre? So starting with the concentration of the original standard solution, the 0.02102 mole per litre potassium permanganate solution, we're going to find out the concentration of solution B, and then once we've done that, we'll find out the concentration of solution C. So starting with the concentration of solution B, let's determine that. And we're going to use the relationship MA. VA equals MB VB. Now the derivation of this expression is explained in more detail in the printed part of the solution to this problem in the lab manual. So if you're unsure about it, then you can review it there. So substituting the values, the molarity of solution A, we know is 0.0 to 102 moles per litre. Uh, we multiply that by the volume of solution A, which was 5 millilitres. If we convert that to units of litres, it would be 0 
zero, zero liters. So that equals the molarity of solution B, which is what's unknown here, times the volume of solution B, which is 100 milliliters, converted to liters would be 0 0.10000 liters. So solving for the molarity of B, we get the molarity of B is equal to 0 0.02102 times 0 0.00500 divided by 0 0.10000 and if we plug all these numbers into our calculator properly, we'll come up with a result of 1.051 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per litre. That's of potassium permanganate. It would normally be expressed to three significant figures, but this is an intermediate result, so we're not going to round it off until the very end. So 1.051 times 10 to the minus 3 moles per litre is the concentration of solution B. On now to the concentration of solution C. And similarly, we're going to use the same relationship again, but it's MB, VB is equal to MC, VC. Substituting the known values, the molarity of solution B, we've previously calculated at being 1.051, times 10 to the minus 3 moles per litre, times the volume of that solution, which was 14.15 millilitres, but in litres that would be 0 0.01415 litres, equals the molarity of solution C, which is unknown here, times the volume of solution C, which was 100 millilitres, and that would be 0 0.10000 in litres. Solving for the molarity of solution C, that would be equal to 1.051 times 10 to the minus 3 times 0 0.01415 divided by 0 0.10000. And then we do that plug all those numbers into your calculator properly and we will get a result of 1.49 times 10 to the minus 4 moles and this is moles of potassium permanganate remember per liter of solution now don't forget we have to determine the answer in units of moles of manganese per litre and at this point we have moles of potassium permanganate per litre. But if we look at the formula for potassium permanganate we can see that there is one mole of manganese per mole of potassium permanganate. So it's pretty straightforward here. To do the actual conversion we would say 1.49 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of potassium permanganate per litre times one mole of manganese per one mole of potassium permanganate and by doing that, multiplying by that ratio, we get the moles of potassium permanganate to cancel and that would leave us with units of moles of manganese per litre. So we do that and of course our answer is 1.49 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of manganese per litre. So that's that problem solved. Now just very quickly here, you may have noticed that uh, during these calculations I was converting the volumes of solutions uh, from millilitres to litres. And if you check out the study guide, you'll see that the volumes used in the solution there are in units of millilitres. Well, technically, it's correct to convert these volumes to litres because you're multiplying the molarity in moles per litre by the volume in litres, so the litres would cancel out, leaving you with moles. However, it's not really essential to convert these volumes to litres, provided you use the same units of volume on the left-hand side of the equation 
as those on the right side of the equation because then the conversion factors will cancel out. So as I said, you'll notice that in the printed solution in the lab guide, I have not bothered to do the conversions, whereas here, I have done the conversions. So whichever method you use, it's okay, provided you do remember that the units of volume on the left side of the equation are the same as those units of volume on the right-hand side of the equation. And thank you for watching.